Hi there everybody, welcome back to the Croatian Eurovision Club. My name is Emily, I am an English speaking contributor to this channel and you can find out more about me on my channel Milky Brew and on my Instagram at mlaurenbruin. Continuing with my Eurovision 2021 reaction series today, I'm going to be reacting to Belarus's entry. As you can tell, I am in my dressing gown for this video because I don't put time and effort into picking outfits for people that don't put time and effort into supporting human rights. I have heard about the drama around this um, song. I think it's absolutely ridiculous and neither myself nor the team believe that this should be allowed to enter Eurovision this year. Uh, currently at the time of filming and publishing it is um, being allowed to enter. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that will change. Uh, and they will be disqualified for entering a political song. At the minute, it's not. At the minute, it's still gonna be competing. So I'm still gonna react to it. I am gonna try and react to the song um, as it is, the music uh, and the video, the lyrics, I'm gonna try and ignore for the sake of this reaction. But let's watch it and see what it sounds like anyway, if we ignore what it's about. I mean, not that it's gonna qualify, just on the basis of this, like it isn't gonna qualify, so I mean, even if they are allowed to perform, they're not going to do well. Um, but that is just going to look so bad on the EBU. Like, why would you allow that to perform? It literally breaks the rules. You are not allowed to enter a song about politics, especially bad politics. <laughs> Let's just get this over with and see what these people, if they even deserve that title, uh, have entered. Is the tambourine <laughs> Is the tambourine player's Karen hairstyle not enough to let you know that this is a bad Sorry, it's just the woman just made the mouth for an ooh. But no, no noise happened. She was way too early. That editing was a fail. How can a song about what it's about try and sound so jolly? Sorry, my dog is going off on one. I don't know if you can hear him, but he must know that I'm playing this song right now. It might be better if I don't look at it, because every time I look at their faces, I'm just like... I just can't believe there are humans out here like this. I'm trying to be unbiased, but it's re uh, People are allowed to have different opinions about like what favorite food and what favorite movie are. People are not allowed to have different opinions on what is equality and how to treat a human like a human. Don't even get me, mm. We're just here to listen to the song, which sounds like, I mean, it sounds basic. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. She's just, it's, they've just done it again. She's just done. But nothing's come out. <laughs> yeah, well, the people wearing sunglasses, like, yeah, I wouldn't want to be identified either. If I had such disgusting views. Look at his face. I mean, even on its own, even if the lyrics were somehow not horrific, it would just do badly anyway. Like, the song is just so bad. Listen to this. It sounds like it should be a kid song. Like, it sounds like something they should be playing in assembly for all the kids at school to sing along to. I'm so sorry about my dog barking in the background. But to be honest, this song is actually such bullcrap that 
I don't care if my dog barks all the way through it because these people don't deserve our views. The song is crap. Like the song is absolute crap. Even if it was a song about world peace and human rights and you know, everybody should be equal. Even if it was a song about that, the song would be absolutely crap. The music is uninteresting. The vocals, no talent. It's just rubbish. The music video has had literally zero effort put into it to the point where they can't even edit it correctly to where someone's mouth movements match when the vocals start on the song. I mean, this should be disqualified from Eurovision just by itself, like not necessarily even because of the lyrics and the message, like it should just be disqualified because it's bad. Over here in the UK and the team have sort of said in Croatia, like we, we didn't know that the political situation was like this and I'm just so sorry and I'm so sorry that they're really trying to ruin Eurovision for you. Just want you all to know how much it infuriates us all and how much we stand with you and I want to try and do something so do look in the description box I might have been able to find something that we can do to help. It's so infuriating like they're, they're trying to get in Eurovision. They're trying to ruin our celebration of joy and love and togetherness and I know that there are political biases within Eurovision. I know that some countries <laughs> give other countries like Cyprus 12 points every year without fail. Maybe there are some biases on the jury but that is only 50% of the vote. So people could argue that there is politics within Eurovision but I'm gonna argue back that it is not as blatant and it isn't as influential on the result as people think it is. But this, this is not on. This is directly bringing politics into Eurovision blatantly. It is putting people who have oppressive and disrespectful and inhumane opinions and allowing them to sing about those opinions on the stage. And that is not what we are about at Eurovision. This is not Eurovision and this shouldn't be allowed. This is our safe contest. This is where everybody can be who they are, they can be themselves, they can be any race, any nationality, any sexuality, any gender, they can speak any language and we all can join over our love of music. Unless you don't like Cyprus and they really hate on you. But the point is this is about connecting Europe through something that we can all collectively love and all collectively communicate through. And this is something so pure with such good intentions and such a good heart that the fact that the EBU is allowing this to happen right now, I know it has only been a day, but the fact that they are allowing this to happen, it's just so wrong. I'm gonna leave this here before I lose my mind. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let's all have a big old rant about um, this ridiculous song in this ridiculous band if it isn't blocked everywhere. Please subscribe to this channel for more things Eurovision, I promise I don't get this angry about most things. And do go follow my channel, Wookie Bruin, and on my Instagram, I'm Lauren Bruin. Thank you so much for watching everybody, especially if you're still here, and I will see you in my next video on this channel. Bye. God, I'm actually repulsed. <laughs>